so we have number nine here. We're going to find the measure of the indicated angle to the nearest degree. So let's start by labeling our person here. And we know that 13, it is the adjacent and 20 is the hypotenuse. So hypo adjacent and hypotenuse is cosine. So cosine of our angle, we can use theta here, is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So cosine of theta is equal to 13 over 20. But here we want the angle by itself. So we have to get rid of the cosine. To do that, we do the inverse. So now it's cosine inverse. In the parentheses, it is 13 over 20. Now all you have to do is plug that into the calculator. So cosine inverse of 13 divided by 20, that is roughly around 49 degrees. So that is what this angle is, 49 degrees, okay? We use our inverse relationships, right? So now let's do B. Same process, we draw our person so we can label which one of is it. So the this is opposite to the 90, so this is hypotenuse. This is the farthest away, so it's opposite. So that would be sine. So sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Sine of theta is equal to 12 over 24. We want that theta by itself, so we have to do the inverse. So theta, e theta, theta is equal to sine inverse of 12 over 24. Just plug that into a calculator now. Sine inverse of 12 over 24 that gets you exactly 30 degrees. So this is 30 degrees. Uh, C, C is the last one here. We draw our person here. Six is the adjacent and eight is opposite to the 90. So that is hypotenuse. So that is cosine. So cosine of theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Cosine of theta is equal to 6 over 8. Get that theta alone. So theta is equal to cosine inverse of 6 over 8. So that is cosine inverse of 6 over 8. And that gets us approximately 41.4 degrees. Okay. And there you go. That is how you find the angle. You have to use the trig inverses to get the angle.